Hello guys, I'm Azaran and this video you will learn networking. So this is another video of Raspberry Pi GPIO programming for IoT and robotics. In this video you will learn the basics of networking. What is networking? You will learn about the client server model, about uh, IP addresses and DNS and port number. And in the next video you will learn uh, how to make your own servers and your own clients and how to connect them together okay so uh, let's start so first what is a network when we say network what comes in our mind is something connected to each other it can be people it can be devices etc so a network is two or more computers or other electronic devices that are connected together and the connection is made by cables or Wi-Fi, right? So here, as you can see, we have a main server over here, and a lot of laptops are connected to it, right? These can be other devices like uh, these can be phones. It can be a Raspberry Pi. It can be a Nord MCU. It can be a sensor uh, with built-in Wi-Fi, etc. Right? So uh, let's take the most popular model in networking which is the client server model so let's see so in client server model we have a server and some clients and they are connected to each other so client is something that makes a request to the server and server is something that has a lot of resources and the server responds to the clients request right so here we have a server is a piece of computer hardware or software so we'll see how it can be a hardware or a software that provides functionality for other programs or devices called clients so uh, what is a server actually it provides uh, some resources or some information to the clients and uh, first the client re requests the information then the server responds to a re client's request with the information and a client is a piece of computer hardware or software that accesses a service made available by a server as a part of the client server model of computer networks. So um, in this uh, client server model we have a client which make requests to the server for something and the server responds to the client's request with the, um, some information or uh, anything uh, the clients need. Now let's uh, take a look at an example which will clear your concepts about the uh, clients and servers. So here uh, let's consider we have a shop and in the shop we have a shopkeeper. Now a uh, customer come to the shop and ask the shopkeeper please give me a pen right and the shopkeeper responds sure sir. Right, so here uh, let's see who is acting as a client and who is acting as a server here. Uh, here uh, we have shop and uh, we have shopkeeper. So shopkeeper has a lot of uh, resources in the shop, right? And the customer has made a request for a pin, right? So here the customer is requesting the shopkeeper to give him a pin, right? And the shopkeeper is uh, responding to the customer uh, request uh, by giving him a pen right so here our client is the sh uh, customer and the shopkeeper is a server they are not actually a client and server but you can consider them uh, it is just to uh, make you understand the concept of client server model right so client is something which requests the server for some information or anything and server is something that responds to the client's request. A server has a lot of resources with it, right? So uh, let's see an example of Google. So here, uh, and when I write www.google.com, right? So what am I doing is, uh, this is a browser, uh, Microsoft Edge, right? So this browser is acting as a client. It is 
making a request to the Google servers and the uh, the Google server responds to the uh, this browser request by showing this page so the response is this Google page right the browser is making a HTTPS request to the Google server and in response to the request Google server is providing this patch to us okay so here uh, we are clients and Google uh, servers are server so now how the customer reaches the shop or how the customer uh, reaches the shopkeeper right so if you think how will have the customer reached the shop by its address right okay so the customer reaches the shop by its address or for example uh, if the customer is calling the shopkeeper so the customer will have reached by uh, dialing the phone number of the shopkeeper so the customer need a specific address or a phone number to reach the shop or uh, the shopkeeper right uh, same is the case with the clients and servers you need a server address for reaching the server and that address is called as the IP address okay so um, the IP address is a unique address that identifies a device on the internet or a local network so whenever a device is connected to the internet it will have an IP address right IP stands for internet protocol and it is a set of rules governing the format of data sent via the internet or local network right now um, it's difficult for us to remember numbers for example uh, if I'm dialing my friend I have saved his numbers by his name right and uh, similarly it is difficult for us to remember the IP address so here the DNS comes into the play and DNS is domain name system it provides a way to map names to numbers so names is a website like for example Google and the numbers is the IP address of the website or the server uh, for example if uh, I search here Google IP So here as you can see the uh, Google IP is 8.8.8.8 .8 or 8.8.4.4 .4. so this is the Google IP but uh, people don't remember this uh, number but uh, they remember Google www.google.com right so it's easier for us to remember names instead of numbers uh, so now let's have another example consider we have uh, two persons one is person A and the other one is person B okay and person A wants to send a whatsapp message to person B okay so uh, person A has sent a message hi to person B okay so how will this uh, message reach person B okay first it will reach the whatsapp server okay and when it reaches the whatsapp server it is a request right this person is making a person as making a request to the whatsapp server to send this message to person b okay so in response to this uh, request server will respond with a single text so you will have noticed when the message uh, is sent a single text appears um, below the message right okay so here this one uh, the person A is client whatsapp server is a server and the person B is also a client so you will see how it is a client now okay so when the person B is not connected to the internet the message is present here and the whatsapp server and the server has already responded with a, a single tick to the client okay as soon as the person B connects to the internet the server whatsapp server will send him the message sent by person A right so mm, as soon as it receives the message it will uh, inform the whatsapp server that he has received the message and the server will respond to person A with the double tick that the person B has received your message okay 
Now when the person be seen the message, it will again tell the server that I uh, have seen the message and the server will tell the person A uh, that person B has seen your message. Okay. So now uh, here how this system works. This person A's phone have an IP address, right? And it is connected to the internet and uh, through that IP address the person can send a message and he has sent this message to the WhatsApp server which have another IP address right and the server has sent that message to the person B which have uh, another different IP address right now a question comes here and that is why the message didn't land in Facebook instead of WhatsApp what is the thing that tells the for message to land and whatsapp not on facebook or instagram or anywhere else so here another thing comes into play and that is the port number right so let's see what is a port number so a port number is a way to identify a specific process to which an internet or other network message is to be forwarded when it arrives at a server right and port numbers identify a particular application or service on a system uh, as I said the message lands only on whatsapp not on Facebook or uh, Instagram due to the port numbers right and every application that is network based has a port number so that's why the ma whatsapp messages lands on whatsapp and Facebook messages lands on Facebook right so I hope that you will have liked this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section and in the next video we will see how to create our own uh, servers and uh, clients and python on raspberry pi thank you